Hello guys and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. So it's time for the weekly Final Cut Pro 10 tip. Now before we get into the video, I just want to do a quick apology actually. On the lateness of this video, I try and get my uh, weekly Final Cut Pro 10 tips out on Wednesdays, but this week I actually forgot, so it's a little bit late, so sorry about that. But hopefully you'll enjoy this week's tip. So in this week's tip, I'm going to actually show you how to add your own custom lower furs, just like you might have seen in my video a few seconds ago. Now before I actually show you how to create your own lower thirds, um, I just want to quickly talk about the actual ones built in to a Final Cut Pro 10. So if you go over to the text tool and you go to lower thirds, you can obviously use all these lower thirds and they're actually pretty cool and I actually use quite a lot of these in my videos. Um, they're really simple, just drag them into your timeline and you can you know, customise them to suit your video. Um, there's quite a few you can choose from, so let's have a look at a few of them. So there's quite a few and like I said they're quite good. Um, what else you can do actually, which is a good tip, is you can just use any of the actual text in Final Cut Pro 10 and make that into kind of lower thirds. So for example this one here, as, as you can see it's a little bit big so what we can do is just hit transform and resize it um, and position it like so and we can obviously change the colour and so on. So that's one way of kind of creating your own little lower thirds really quickly. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own custom lower thirds. There's quite a few ways you can actually go about this, but I'm going to kind of show you the easiest way, most simple way, and this is how I actually do it for my videos. So what you need to do first of all is actually open up a program like Photoshop. If you haven't got Photoshop, you can try something like GIMP, which is actually free. I um, definitely recommend that if you haven't got an image editor already, because it's obviously free. Or you can use something like Photoshop or Pixelmate or something like that. And what you need to do is first of all is create a document. So what we're going to do here is actually create our lower third in this image editor. So we'll go up to file, we'll create a new document. Now I recommend choosing the resolution same as your video. So my video is a full HD, so I'm choosing width 1920 by 1080. And the reason I choose the same um, size as my video is I just find it easier than when I'm creating my lower third to actually gauge what size I want to make it. So as we can see here, we've got the canvas now. Um, we need to make this a transparent layer, so just make it transparent. So I'll hide the, hide the background layer. Now you see this layer here now is is the um, transparent layer. The way you can tell it's transparent is it's checkered basically. So you don't want it to be a block color like white or black or anything like that. It needs to be transparent. Then what I'm going to do is just quickly create a lower third. This is going to look quite rubbish actually because I'm just going to show it as a demo. But you can obviously be a little bit more creative here. Get your creative juices flowing and try and create something really cool. Um, so I'll just quickly create one. So we'll go for something really weird, we'll go for orange, like so. Like I said, this isn't going to be very good, but you get the idea. If you're not too good in something like um, Photoshop and that, I guess it's just a bit of practice. Maybe I'll do a, a better tutorial later on how to create a really cool or lower third. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it simple. So there you go, I've quickly created a lower third. Um, obviously you can obviously spend a little bit more time on this and create something a little bit more special. Um, what I've done is just added an orange box, put a black box behind it, put a black stroke around the orange box, put some text in the middle. I've actually chose my Twitter handle for the text. And um, as simple as that, obviously if you were creating this you could spend a little bit more time, maybe put in your uh, logo or something like that as well. But as you can see here, this doesn't look too bad, so we'll use this. Main thing here, is just to remember, is to make sure the whole background is transparent, like so. Then we need to save it. So go to File, Save As. And you want to save it as a, actually as a um, PNG. So make sure you save it as a PNG. We'll actually name this Lower Third, but you can name it whatever you want, obviously. Like so. So I'm just going to save this on my desktop. So now we're back in Final Cut Pro 10 and what I normally do is create a new event and I call it something like um, custom titles or something like that. So we'll call it custom titles but you can kind of call it what you want really. And what I will do is actually add anything like my intros to this event or my outros, um, my lower thirds, my logos and so on. So we've got the event made now and we'll just import media from a desktop. So we're going to choose the lower third we've just created. And I've also got another lower third 
here somewhere if we can find it there it is this one here this is the one I use for this for this um, series I do on Final Cut Pro 10 as you can see here on this one I actually spent a little bit more time I had a little logo I created and obviously some text so we import them too like so as you can see here they've both imported into Final Cut Pro 10 so now we've created the lower third it's quite easy to add it to our video um, obviously it's just an image so you just drag and drop it on top of your video clip like so and now when we play this video clip the lower third appears like so um, because we actually chose the resolution of this image to be the same as our video it fits perfectly how we wanted it to we don't have to resize it or anything like that but if you do choose you want to resize it you can just click on it go to transform and you can then just choose a different size or resize it also you can rotate it if you wanted to and reposition it so as simple as that but I'm happy with the size so I'll keep it how we had it but obviously when we play this now it just kind of appears out of nowhere we don't want that we want it to be a bit better than that so we'll select that video so we'll select the lower third and we'll go to transitions and we can add some transitions so we'll go for this one the simple cross dissolve so now when we play this video the lower third slowly comes in which is quite cool but I think we can do better than that so we'll delete the dissolve transition and the one I like using is probably the one in movements and it's the um, swing not swing sorry the slide one so we drag that in and we put it in the back as well so now when we play this it actually slides in which is quite cool actually just play that again for you as you can see slides in looks really good but if we go to the back end actually it doesn't quite work towards the end because the, the wrong clip slides in so we want to change that so you need to select the, um, the transition go up to your inspector and we need to change it from slide in to slide out I think we have to make sure it's saying sliding right when it to slide left so now when we play this it slides back out the way it came which we want so that worked really well um, but like I said you don't have to use them transitions as loads you can choose from so we'll try this spin one see if this actually works so as you can see the spin one is quite cool so what I would set is just have a little play and try a few of the different transitions out um, some work quite well with these lower thirds we've made um, some not so well and some you need to go into the inspector and tweak a little bit to get them to work right and using these transitions you're just going to be able to add a little bit of animation to your lower thirds make them a little bit more interesting and I think having your kind of a custom lower third is, is definitely going to make your videos look a little bit more unique from everyone else. So hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.